Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the table. So I'm going to try and do a couple of uh, video today and a video tomorrow since it's um, a few days before Christmas and we're um, going to families for Christmas. So I wanted to try and get a couple videos done. This idea popped in my head yesterday when my husband and I were having lunch together. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of paints on the board or on the canvas. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a whole bunch of little mini flip cups and then we're going to put some black as a negative space around it. And then we're going to poke holes in those cups and we're just going to tilt the canvas and kind of let the cups walk all over the place and then pick them up and see what we have. So I decided, I, I literally just started grabbing paints this morning and ended up grabbing a whole bunch of earth tones and then a couple of really vibrant dyes. So our colors today are, oh, well, and then of course the silver is a uh, shimmering silver, warm brown, milk chocolate, khaki tan, burnt umber, beachcomber beige, Uh, a little bit of a red, so we're doing an antique maroon. The turquoise ultra dye. And then the tantalizing teal ultra dye. The black is our flow acrylic black. Um, the mixture is flow troll. I've had a couple of people ask me about the flow troll. So this is the one that I use. Um, I get it at Home Depot. And so this is the Floetrol I use. So it's Floetrol water pigment. And I haven't put any silicone in anything. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna kinda let the different levels and thicknesses of the paints form our cells for us. So I've got all of our paints mixed up. I've got our black mixed up and ready to go. Okay, so let me grab a whole bunch of mini cups. Uh, there you guys are. I really don't know how many I'm gonna need, but we're gonna start with this. Okay, so we're gonna push the canvas out of the way. Um, this canvas is a 20 by 20. It was prepped with the um, fluid acrylic black just around the edges. And I've, you know, I've come to realize how important it is to prep your canvases, especially the corners and the sides. It's just super, super important. So apparently we're going with this many flip cups because that's how many I have. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine. And... We're gonna make it 10 because I like even numbers. Okay, don't judge. All right, um, I didn't wanna say welcome to all of the new subscribers. Um, I can't even imagine or believe um, how fast this YouTube channel has grown. Um, my first video I ever posted was on October 24th, so we're not even two months in, and I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. I know for some people who have over like a million subscribers, you're like, psh, <laughs> 900, um, or almost a thousand, I'm between 900 and a thousand. Um, but for me, when I originally thought that I was just going to kind of do this and, and nobody was going to follow me and, and all that. So it's humbling for me. Um, I know I've been promising some scroll saw videos and woodworking videos, and I promise they're coming. I tried to do some during, um, my Christmas season, um, trying to do videotape orders or, you know, as I was making them and then I got really busy and then I'd forget to videotape a part of it. And then I get done with the whole project. It did me like, Oh crap. I, I forgot. So, um, I'm really excited to, to start doing videos. Um, you know, already, I know I'm going to do one for the serving trays that I do. I'm going to do some scroll saw work. I'm going to do a video on how I build my wood canvases. Um, I'm getting a new Cricut. I'm getting a Cricut maker, which I'm extremely excited about because then we can take all these beautiful paintings and we can put verses and, and pictures and all that kind of stuff on them. 
and I don't have to spend hours, you know, taping and exacto knifing and all that kind of stuff. So really excited about the things to come. Um, hopefully the channel is just going to grow and grow as I expand into more stuff, not just the paintings, but more scroll saw and woodworking. And I'm going to build some of my night lights from beginning to end. And um, so, yeah, I'm just really excited about what's to come. So that being said, again, thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who has liked my videos and shared my videos and and all that. That's that's helped me grow and really um, just give me so many more ideas to kind of share with you. So, like I said, we're gonna get to the painting now. Um, I just wanted to 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 say thank you to everybody um, and of course all your beautiful comments. Some of the comments y'all make are just are just absolutely beautiful. Bring a smile to my face. So, um, like I said, this, uh, idea came to me yesterday while I was having lunch with my husband. Um, and so we were talking about my paintings and this kind of popped into my head. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do an unconventional pour into these cups because I feel like being unconventional today. Okay. Are we ready? The first one we are going to use is going to be, I want to say this one is the, the turquoise. And we are going to do it kind of like a bartender. We're just going to just pull it all the way across as if I would know what a bartender really does. I mean, I used to work at Chili's when I was still in the military. It was my second job. Um, but I'm allergic to alcohol, so I don't drink. But Okay, here we go. And I've seen this in TV before. I've watched the movie Cocktails. I know what they do. All right, that's one. Now let's move on to, I want to say this is the warm brown. I don't know why I chose these earth tones. They're just what ended up in my hands. Okay, warm brown. Now we are gonna move on to the uh, milk chocolate. There we, go. we already got some cells developing in these cups. Okay, that over there so I don't knock it over. Next one's going to be the burnt umber. All right, we're gonna go this direction. All right, we're going into the lighter colors. We've got the, um, this one is the khaki, or the, yeah, khaki tan. All right, unless we're gonna kind of move this one back and forth. It kind of really mixes in there. All right, all right, next one is the Beachcomber Beige. Same thing, we're gonna kind of just move it back and forth and get it really mixed up in there. The Antique Maroon, go ahead and kind of swipe this one across. Okay, now we're putting in the tantalizing teal. And we've got our silver. And then I want to top it back off a little bit more with this antique maroon to kind of give us a really just a different break in there. Okay. Those are our colors. And as you can see, we've got some pretty stuff already going on in the cup. All right, we're just going to put these all over the canvas. Let me shift these downwards so I can pull the canvas back into view. And if you can see all of this runoff, I guess you can't see it because it's too dark. 
Um, I forgot to bring my other light in here. If y'all can see that stuff down there, we got some really pretty mixtures already going on. So we are going to pull this up so you can see it. Again, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. You're just going to do flips all over the place. Oh, that ended up kind of being even, huh? Didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right. Looks like we already have some pretty colors forming. All right, now we're gonna pour on the black for our negative space. Get the outline first. Oh, you know what? I forgot to start my music. I apologize. Maybe I won't have to hear me sniffle. There we go. Okay. Some beautiful background music. This is relaxing classical cello music. Um, uh, yeah instrumental background uh, non-copyright and again I used to play the cello so I love cello music Now I'm trying to get it around the cups, but I do not want to get it in the middle of where we have our parts seeping out. I'm just kind of butting it up against that piece of those parts. end up having to do a painting with just those colors and not the negative space. Those colors turned out to combine very, very well.
Okay, sorry, I had to put you on pause. I had a huge sniffle and it was just driving me nuts. Okay, so now that we've got that part done, we are going to poke our holes in our cups. And they're gonna start moving on their own. Ready? All right, let's do this. Somebody doesn't want to move. Move. There we go. Oh, some of them are really moving now, huh? We got one guy that really just wants to go to town. There we go. Oh, there goes the other ones. I'm gonna take you right to the end. This is kind of fun, actually. Oh, you're going to the end. Don't fall off. Oh, there goes that one. And you are going to go right just like that. So we can get you to shift downwards. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there goes another one. All right. And that was okay because I really don't want a whole bunch of paint left. So some of these I'm going to kind of lift up and drag just to fill in and then take them off. Okay. Shift just a little bit to fill in where the canvas is exposed. Okay. Now this one does have a lot of paint on the canvas, um, so it's going to take a while to dry, but I don't want to tip off too much. this last section up here. There we go. I'm going to bring it back down just a little bit, even everything back out. Just like that, we are done. to hit it with a blowtorch, but it's not here. I have to go grab it. Give me one second. Okay, never mind on the blowtorch. It's really cold outside and it's in my shop. So we're just going to go with the heat gun just to get some of the bubbles out. Husband's over here, like shaking his head, like, "Yep, that looks good." <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, that'll do. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if that one's going up for sale or going on our wall. <laughs> I might steal it. Sorry, guys. Actually, it would go good in my mom's house. She's gonna hear you. Yeah. Sorry, mom. Okay, let's take a closer look. All right, here it is. It looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Getting closer to where all the cells are.
probably gonna have to recreate this one. I think I found what I'm going to do on my big 24 by 48 canvas that my husband's gonna have to help me with because I can't tilt that son of a gun by myself. Evenly, anyways. Do I get paid? Maybe. I love these cells right here. Well, I guess my husband and I need to go eat lunch at Freddy's more often because this was a good idea. Alrighty, everybody. I hope y'all liked watching this. Um, it gave you kind of some cool ideas on some different styles and techniques to use. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will do my best to get back to you. And as always, God bless.